Hey everybody, Logan here at Boom Mountain Sports. Super excited to talk to you today about 2425 Women's Santa Ana. Brand new, new construction, new design completely for 2425. I'm here with Drake. Hey Drake. Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> How are you doing today? Good. I'm really excited to talk about the new Santa Ana. Right? Yeah. Don't they look gorgeous? They really do, man. Nordica really outdid it with the graphics this year. They're I, so much fun. They just kind of hit it. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I just like immediately gravitated towards it when we were at the show the other yeah. day. I was like, ah, you guys did well. I like ski that vibrant. mountain. They're fun. I'd, I'd ski that mountain. <laughs> yeah. I'd, see my, I'd see that I'd line. I'd see the lines. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in some previous videos, we were talking about the Enforcer series. Um, that got completely overhauled. This is the exact same thing on the women's line. Um, the women's line got completely overhauled from um, pretty much everything. So, but there's slight little differences in just terms of the construction. Um, so Drake, do you remember, do you want to talk a little bit about the construction and a little bit of how yeah, what all these sure. skis are? So um, we still got the Poplar Beach core going on. In the women's Santa Ana, we got one sheet of metal that goes all the way through, gives it some nice dampness. Not overly damp, so for my petite ladies out there, you're not gonna have any problem being able to carve the ski. It's not gonna feel really heavy or anything like that. Um, and if you really wanna carve on those narrower skis, it's got more metal, a little less metal when we're going into the all mountain, kind of bigger mountain areas. How do they, as much metal. What, what exactly do they do with the metal? I think they have like a term for it, right? It's like, I think it's terrain specific. Terrain specific, yeah, right? definitely. Like all of our skis are made for different parts of the mountain. They do terrain specific construction. So that powder ski, we don't need as much metal. We're really just kind of surfing in that deeper snow. But carving, we really want more edge control. So that metal is going to come further out to the edges than it will on that 102 underfoot. Um, and then there is also the pulsar. Yeah, yep, yeah, it's the, pul uh, the core pulsar. Core Pulsar. Ah, what um, it? Pulse Core. Oh, there it is. Pulse Core, which uh, is going to be a lot better than having the carbon that was on here in previous versions of the ski. It's a little bit more energy, a little bit better pop and play in your turns, not having as much of that kind of dead space under the, under the boot. So definitely a lot more fun and you can still get on it if you're a bigger girly like me, but those petite girls are gonna have way more fun on something like this than they would on a gigantic enforcer or men's ski that's super heavy with two sheets of metal. Nice. Yeah. So they come in with four different widths, right? So we're gonna have an 87, we're gonna have a 92, we're gonna have a 97, and then a 102, right? So I, I feel like it's a pretty good array of a good all mountain yeah. um, family of skis. Right. Four skis so to get you everywhere. If you're finding yourself being for more on the kind of front side, more of that carvy, I just kind of want to have some turns and just cruise, then this 87 is a great option, right? Your 92 is going to kind of come into play when you're starting to kind of venture around, you know, getting trees a little bit, you know, you're skiing some bumps and some blues. Um, that's also, that's where you're going to find your 92. Your 97, you start to kind of venture into more varied terrain, steeper terrain, more difficult terrain. Um, and with that will come, you know, variable conditions of snow. So you want to have some a little bit more meaty under the foot to kind of allow for that. And then the 102, this is kind of going to be your all mountain badass, you know, um, and that's kind of what they're kind of going for. So you do have a variety to choose from that aren't like they're pretty similar in what they're, where they're at. So if you have questions about where you would be as a skier, definitely give us a call. We'd love to chat with you about the new skis. Um, we have one thing we like to talk about a little bit is radius. You know, radius and skis really, that's like the DNA of your ski, right? That's yeah. what, what gets you into your turn from your tip down to your tail. Um, so what they've done here in the Santana is that in these, in your 87, 92 and 97, is all gonna be a 16.5 radius, which, I love. Yeah. Right? You know, because, you know, for you, you know, you ski the Santa mm -hmm. in years past and had like, you know, finding it to be a little bit soft. Yeah. Right? Definitely. Um, and I think like, some of that has to do maybe a little bit soft and not just quite where you want to ski. I'm, right. I'm assuming like more of a fall line skier, kind of like skiing fast. Yes, definitely. Right? Yeah. So that's where I love the 16.5. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's not, it's not too, sh it's not short where it just is really demanding and like yeah. wanting you to turn and when you want to go straighter, mm -hmm. you know, 16.5 really allows it to, you, know, you can open up your turns that way. Yeah, definitely. Right? And so 16.5 all the way to 97 and then we jump up to a 17 meter radius on the 102. So just within that construction, I think that's a major difference between what yeah. they've done in the past with their Santana into what they're doing for 24, 25. Yeah. And I think like you were saying that you're like pretty pumped to get on the ski. Oh my God. Right? Yeah. Right? Just to kind of see the differences of what you 
had you felt yeah. before and what's going on now. It's definitely one of those things where like these two skis at 97 and the 102 are not gonna be a whole lot different, but having a little bit different turning radius kind of gives you, it's only five millimeters in waist width, but it's one of those things where you can really get into all of the mountain with both of these sizes. Um, if you want a little bit more of that crud and a little bit more powder, you go for something wider, but intermediate expert, you're gonna be so happy on that 97 with just a small change in that turning radius. Otherwise the rest of the line will kind of stay steady. Absolutely. Um, the other thing about these that we didn't touch on is just kind of the profile. Oh, right? so much camber in these So <laughs> Yeah, so we have like, especially in these three lower lowers, like what they didn't change from the Enforcer series on the male side and to the women's side is their profiles are very similar, right? So you're, you're gonna have your lowered tip to allow for a really powerful entry into the turn and a little bit more early rise in the tail, not quite as much as like a free, but nice, powerful finish. So you can really feel the enter, enter and exit of your turns. Um, with a lot of camber in your narrower waisted skis, you're gonna have all the energy you want, especially with that pulse core. Yeah. Like I'm pumped to watch Seriously. you ski on this thing. My sister got to ski on the 102 and she, it like blew her mind. Yeah, it was I so can only fun. imagine. Just knowing that there's gotta be more dampness there and a little bit mm -hmm. less of that, just feeling dead under your foot, especially when you're talking about something that really wants to carve go fast. So out of these, Drake, which one are you most excited about? You know, to be honest, it's probably uh, so, truly even between these two guys right here. I'm on a pretty wide daily driver, um, and I love the idea of a 102. It's a little bit narrower, but can still get me absolutely everywhere I need. But the idea of having a little bit smaller of a turning radius with all the waist width I need to get everywhere on the hill is really positive too. I'll just have to ski both of them to decide which <laughs> one I'm gonna get. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you guys, we are going to be getting some early buy into um, Nordica Santa Ana this year. So check us out at BoonMountainSports.com. If you have any questions or are just interested in what's going on, give us a holler. We'd love to talk.